All right, what is up my homies and welcome today to Grey Gaming. Today on another episode of Commonwealth Contractor, we're going to be trying our hand at something that you've seen at a few of my different settlements already, and that is the Oceanfront Dock Facility. So this is a boathouse slash harbor type of setup where if there were actually operational boats that came into our settlements, then they could have a place to actually dock and stay. Now, in game, this doesn't actually happen, but there is a lot of precedence in world for operational boats. There's the Nakano family here in Fallout 4 that have a couple boats that are fully operational. And of course, in Fallout 3, there is the Duchess Gambit, which is a ocean going vessel. So we do have precedent for ocean going vessels. And so that's why I kind of came up with the idea for a dock. And so that's what we're going to go through today. And that's what we're going to try and build. So we are at the Taffington Boathouse. And that's because this is the last settlement left on this playthrough that I'm working on that does not yet have one that actually has room to build one. So that's why we're here. We do have kind of our tower build here in the background, but we're not going to focus on the tower. We're going to focus on constructing our dock. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So you can see here, I've already got a dock started. And the reason for that is I wanted to make sure that I had room to build it. And so this is very similar to my castle gatehouse build where I tested out beforehand just to make sure I had room, but didn't go all the way through constructing it. So we're going to go through that now. So when we're building our docks, there's usually two rings. There's an inner dock, which is where a boat or other ocean going vessel would dock. And then there's an outer dock, which is where people could fish off of. It could be used for storage, whatever. And so this is our inner dock ring, plus a little bit of our outer dock here. And so what we're going to do is first thing, you want to make sure that you have at least a couple uh, floor squares. I like to get three if there's room, but there isn't at this site. So we just went two floor spaces wide. And then we go pretty much as far out in the water as we can. Now I went with these nice, I don't know about nice, but these wood pillar pieces. So this is a dock. So I figured that wood would be more at home. So instead of our usual concrete foundation pieces, we went with a stilted floor piece instead. And so that looks a lot more at home on the water here in the workshop. You can see all the way to the bottom. And so it doesn't look quite right. But as soon as you exit workshop mode, you can't really tell that I didn't swim under the water and put stilts going all the way down. All right, so the first thing we wanna do after we have this basic U-shape built is this is our inner ring. So we wanna put a wall around this ring and then we want a outer walk as well. But there's a bit of a problem. And so I'm gonna show you what that problem is now. So for this, I'm going to go with a concrete wall. So even though we're going with wood for our dock piece, the concrete still looks like more secure of a structure. So if I put my wall and then I snap my wood floor for my outer dock ring to that concrete, it's not actually going to line up if I snap my dock to the inner ring. So you can see that the wall has a three dimensional structure. So there's this air gap that's going to form around all four of my corners if I go that route. So there is a workaround to make that work. And so what you do is you get your concrete started, you snap a wood block or your floor block in, I'll go right there. And then you continue your concrete in a line. So even though it's clipping through the floor, it's still going the direction that we want. And then all we have to do is pull our existing concrete wall out, snap it in place, pull our wood floor in, and then put our concrete back. And then we have our wood at the proper width and then we can just keep going with our wall. So now I'm going to build my wall all, or build my outer dock all the way down on this side. 
don't know why I'm in the prefabs. And then before I put my corner piece in, I'm gonna go ahead and do that same trick on this corner. And so here we have our inner ring and outer ring done. Now we'll wanna go ahead and throw some stairs in here so that we don't have to hop to get up in here. And I'm just gonna go with concrete stairs for right here. And now what I like to do is I like to put handrails around the outside. So that's what we'll do. And I like the Vault-Tec handrails. They're a little finicky, but they work pretty well and they look very nice when they're actually functional. So I'm going to go ahead and put a Vault-Tec wraparound rail here on this corner. And then I can put rails on the inside here, but I think I'm going to leave that open. So I'll just go ahead and throw these corner posts on each of my outside corners. And so you see here, there's a bit of a problem. And like I said, the Vault-Tec set is finicky. It doesn't want to actually go around this corner because it sees this concrete piece as being in the way. So what you have to do is you just pull the concrete piece out. It doesn't see an obstacle anymore. And then you pull the concrete piece back in. So sometimes you have some backwards compatibility where forward compatibility is not a problem. And so now that we have that, we'll just go ahead and fill these all the way in. Uh-oh, we're a little too close to the gatehouse. Oh, well, that's annoying. All right, we'll use your imagination there. And we're going to run into that in the upper level as well, where we're built a little too close to the tower to be able to fill everything in. And then we do have this one piece of concrete missing, so we'll go ahead and fill that in as well. And then we just have two more pieces of Vault-Tec railing to fill in. And we can throw in a couple more stairs. There we go. So that is our bottom level done with the exception of a gap caused by our house. So if I had been just a few inches further away, that would not have been a problem. So now we need to build up a second level. So I'm gonna go back to my wood set and we can move away from this pillared piece and towards this nice deck. Well, actually, I don't like that deck. I'm gonna go that deck. And there's a problem. You can't snap decking to a rooftop. So if I know that I'm going to be building a second layer of concrete, I'll usually just throw in a second block. But since I'm done with the concrete set for the most part, I'm just going to snap 
that wall up for now and then I will pull it back down. And then I'm just gonna snap it there. And so now I need to pull in some stairs. Now the concrete stairs will work for now, but it does have some conflicts with the Vault-Tec railing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to warehouse stairs for this set of steps. And they don't really break the aesthetic. They're almost the exact same rust and texture as the steel on our concrete build set. So we really don't lose anything by switching to the warehouse stairs for right now. And so now I'm just going to build a second layer that looks pretty much identical to our first. So two sets of flooring. And then there is a bit of a fall gap here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in with a quarter square here. So now we can go ahead and throw in another set of Vault-Tec hand railing. So just as before, I can't place this corner piece of Vault-Tec railing because of the concrete wall underneath. So if I just store that for now, voila, it works. And then it's gonna be the same story over here in this corner. So I just pull out the floor Store the concrete for now. Put in my corner piece, and then we just keep going. And so we have a bit of a problem here, and this piece of Vault-Tec railing can't fit here. And the reason for that is that you cannot free float the handrails. So all you have to do is a little bit of juggling. We just pull the stairs out and along with our half squares. We pull this corner in. We place our handrail and then we just move everything back to where it was. And so that's where that conflict comes into place where the concrete steps won't fit, but the warehouse steps do. All right, so we have our second layer done, but we're starting to see this problem where we have a floating structure. There's nothing really holding the outer edges of our settlement together. And so for right now, there's nothing we can really do about the outside, but we will have a fix here in a few minutes. But for the inside, we can switch over to the barn set and we can go over to the miscellaneous section and select these wood posts from the Far Harbor DLC. And so we can snap these either to floors or roofs, and we can either snap them up or we can snap them down. So for here, I'm just going to go ahead and snap three. And for whatever reason, it doesn't like to snap close. So I'm going to go ahead and snap opposite ends.
All right, and so those give us a couple things. Those make it look like they are propping up our floors on the second level, but if a boat actually did come in here, it also gives the boat something to tie off to. So they pull double duty here and they make it look pretty decent. So now that we have the inside level taken care of, let's go ahead and close off our boathouse. So what I like to do, I've started doing this recently, is go to the warehouse set and under walls, we go all the way to the right until we get to glass walls. And so we have this nice glass pane that doesn't have any glass broken out of it. So it gives us a nice kind of greenhouse looking effect. And we just go ahead and snap this to our inner walls. Now there's a bit of a problem with how this likes to snap and it will try and snap first to the floor. So it thinks that there's an inside and an outside. And so the problem is, is that if we go to roofs, the roofs face the wrong direction because our glass is facing the wrong direction. So we have to do a little bit of glass snapping jujitsu here before we can actually get this to work. There we go. So we got that pane facing the other direction, just not where we want it. Now we have it. So now if I try and place a roof, what the heck? There we go. Now I finally got it to snap in the right direction. And so now we just snap all of our glass to where it fits. And we will stack our glass two levels high, because this is kind of a short wall. All right, so there is our glass wall. So anyone standing up here on this upper deck can see if a boat is launching or docking. So now we just wanna throw in a glass roof. And so the same story, we get rid of this nasty crumbled wood and we just go till we find glass. And so there is a pane of this glass that does not have any glass broke out and then we just snap them in. And so that gives us our roof, and then we just have this end of the wall that needs filled in. So back to walls, and then we just use these two nice corner pieces. So there we have our completely enclosed glass viewing pane, so we can see down. And so now it's really just a matter of deciding whether we want this top deck to be open air or whether we want it to be covered. And for this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go covered. So we have a couple ways we can do this. We can either go with more glass roofing, but I'm kind of running a bit low on glass, so I don't think I have enough to actually fill that in. So we're just going to go back to wood. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull out a pane of this vault railing. I'm going to go back to my concrete set real quick. And I'm just going to build this too high.
Then I'm going to go back to the floors. Get this started. Store my concrete, put that back. And now I'm back in business. And that went the And so like I said, you're going to have to use a bit of your imagination here because our tower is kind of encroaching on us right here. So we'll just pick up back here at this corner. So now we're filled in and now we have an opportunity now that we're now that we have our second layer covering in to deal with the problem of our floating structure. So if you'll remember, we kind of have this floating catwalk. Nothing is being supported by anything. And in the real world, that wouldn't really work. So it doesn't quite look right. So we're going to go back to our barn set, back to the miscellaneous section, and back to these posts. And now, that we have this top that we can snap to because you can't really snap with just the vault tech railing vault tech is grumpy about that we can snap these posts in and be good to go and then i'll probably do one here i'll do one there Okay, now we just go down to our bottom deck where we have these small bits of those posts sticking out through the bottom and we just continue snapping. Oh, that's why that one looks so messed up. All right, there's been a quick cutaway. I ran out of build space here at the settlement, so all I had to do was throw a bunch of weapons on the ground, store them in the workshop, and my build meter now has plenty of room for additional add-on. So the only other thing we need to do here is put our two concrete walls in that we had to pull out for our second level vault tech railing here at the corners. So I just put that one there. and put this one here. And that is our boathouse. It is complete other than the section that was built a bit too close to the tower and that one piece of hand railing that doesn't like the dock. So this is my normal boat facility. It is bare. There's none of the nautical decorations like the lobster crap floats but this is indicative of what I normally set up. So we do have this nice dock area where a boat can come in and dock. We do have these nice posts that serve as tie off points. And we do have the second deck where you can do pretty much anything you want. Usually I put an upper deck market so that the people who are docking the boat can see that people are doing some trading up on the upper levels and the people who are doing the training can simply look through the glass and see the boat. So I love building these. They're super fun. They look really cool when you get them finished and they kind of add a new element of lore to the game where ordinarily none really exists. And so there you have it. That is our dock facility. This has been another episode of the Commonwealth Contractor. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking. And if you want to see more content just like this every time we drop a new episode, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time we drop a new video. 
If you have any suggestions for other structures you've seen from my Settlement Builds for Noobs series that you want to see showcased on this series, please drop those in the comments below, or if you have ideas for other types of structures based off of those, or just other stuff you want to see in general, I always look at feedback and I always like to try new things. So with that all out of the way, I'm Gray, this has been Gray Gaming, you've been watching Commonwealth Contractor, stay safe, and I'll see you all here next time.